Hey everybody, quick little vlog time. Uh, today was my birthday. Yay! Uh, today I'm 35. Or really, yesterday I was 25. Still am 35. Anyway, I am re-watching RoboCop again. Still a, you know, fun, silly, over-the-top action movie. It's great. It's awesome. And uh, about a year ago or so, the RoboCop remake came out. My brother and I went and saw it, and we thought it was okay. Uh, is it better than the original? Fuck no. Is it going to replace the original? Fuck no. Do I still think it's a perfectly okay movie that really doesn't hurt anything? Yeah, I think it's perfectly fine. There were a lot of people who raged over it. But the movie had kind of an argument that I was trying to present. So part of the plot of the movie is that uh, the big corporation has uh, has drones, machines that, you know, are working over in the third world as security and as army. Well, what they want to do is they want to start using, you know, machines, you know, for drones and for security and even for police uh, law enforcement uh, in the United States. But uh, there's a Senate committee very much against it. Specifically, the main argument is that the senator always poses a question to the head of the corporation. Does a machine know how it feels when it takes a life? Or how it would feel if it were to have to kill a child or something like that? And, yeah, and, and, uh, and the head of the corporation always has to be like, um, no. So how they circumvent that is, you know, by putting a human you know, into a machine, blah, 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 it's the plot. Well, I kind of thought a, a compelling counter argument that the corporation could have presented to the committee. Well, a as we all know, sadly today there have been a lot of cases and a lot of news stories about police officers being perfectly willing to shoot and murder unarmed civilians. Oftentimes, many of them innocent. And Nothing seems to happen to them because our justice system sucks. So, another message that could have been brought into this and counter-argument could have been made about, well, you know, Senator, there, have, of course, have always been cases about many of our own human police officers being perfectly willing to shoot and kill unarmed innocent civilians. Our machines have programming in them that prevents them from ever doing such things. Boom. There you go. Perfect counter-argument. This is something that I just suddenly thought of. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has already thought of. More than likely, somebody else already has. Who knows? But, I don't know. So, yeah. There you go. Just a quick little thought I had. Other than that, uh, maybe I'll show off some birthday gifts that I got. Uh, my buddy Brandon, who I've had on a few Let's Plays... And I think even on a few podcasts, uh, he bought me a couple of movies. Uh, where did I put... Where did I put you? I don't know. Should I really bother looking through the pile for it? Well, I'm going to have to up upload this and edit this anyway, so what the hell. Uh, did I put it in here or did I not? I thought I did. Where are you? Where are you? I apologize. Where... Where the hell is it? Did I not put it in the pile? The, oh, okay. I didn't put it in the pile. I'm an idiot. He bought me Fifth Element on Blu-ray, which I own on DVD. I just don't have it on Blu-ray. And I couldn't remember. And see, that's the thing. Every time I get something new, whether it's for my birthday or just from a random shopping spree or random purchase, I can never remember, do I already own this? I don't know. But thankfully, I don't own that, so I can keep it. However, he also bought me Sucker Punch. I've never seen it, but I've heard nothing but bad things about it. So we've decided, how about we do a bad movie night, and then maybe we can, you know, do a quick little vlog video on it. And uh, I have kind of caved because for a long time I've kind of been against the whole iPhone thing, but. Now I do realize how convenient they would be for all those many times when I'm trying to get somewhere and I forget how to get there. I think to myself, kind of wish I had an iPhone or something like that so I could bring up Google Maps or something like that and find my way to my destination. Well, now I have an iPhone. I'm going to see about trying to set it up. Mostly just got some other gift cards and also got... 
bag of goodies that I'm already chowing down on. Mostly, uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. I mean, could have been better. I mean, yeah, I mean, um, at least I got the day off and got to enjoy myself. Of course, when you're unemployed right now, uh, weekends are kind of meaningless. So, be job hunting again. It's a damn shame I can't do this for, for a living and just make money doing something that I love, but even then that is something that's not working out for some people, sadly. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to get into that because that's none of my business. Uh, happier times. Happier times, you know? Though, it can be pretty hard to try to think positively. Well, anyway, everybody, uh, that was a quick little vlog and... I guess semi-update. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves.